Well, the project at hand is these mirrors, and everybody loves to upgrade to the 08 mirrors, and they can see a lot more, and I'm kind of fond of the lights over here. So uh, I'm going to get into this a little more in detail. I had to kind of work through this wiring harness. Now, this truck is a 99 work truck, so it never had wiring for power windows and mirrors. It just had the door jar and the speaker. That's the only wiring it had. And because this wiring got all messed up right here where the orange and the white are, I just cut this off. But this is a 22 pin plug for the newer models. Um, and if I remember correctly, they do not have an adapter for this. But since I don't have the incoming wiring from the harness to meet the, this is the, this is the side that goes up to the mirror. Okay, so you have to decipher these. So have your phone ready in a little while, and I have a breakdown. I've already gone through uh, with the power probe here and tested these to know what wires are what. <coughs> None of these colors jive with the Ford thing, and very few of these colors jive with any of the uh, wiring harnesses I've been able to look at. But when I get to the other door over there, I'll show y'all how to pull the door panel and all that kind of stuff. But I got the, the bezel off, which everybody knows just pulls off. This is your headlight plugs. You got to move these red uh, safety catches out of click. I usually use a flathead and then squeeze them here and they'll pop out. So... What we have here, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to show you some graphics later, so be ready with your phone, or you can rewind it later. Um, if I remember correctly, this gray is probably going to be heat, because that's the only thing I didn't really care about. I may or may not hook it up on this, but black is the ground, and blue and red are... Uh, turn signal and running lights right here I'm not sure on the colors I'll show you on my little chart in a little while um, I just thought I'd kind of get you guys up to speed on what I'm doing um, running lights you can tap into back here uh, I believe it's the solid brown right here um, you'd have to test probe it and see which I'm getting ready to get into. So I'm going to tap in here and I think I'm going to pull the cluster to be able to get to the harness instead of pulling all this clamshell stuff off. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to go one way or the other here in a minute and I'll get back to you. But uh, what we're going to do, I have the colors for left turn and right turn in the Ford harness. And so what I'm going to use, I'm going to try, and I'm not a big fan of these squeeze connectors. But I got this little assortment pack off of the Amazon there and show y'all what it does. This is what they're calling a T-connector. And as you can see right here, it's a typical squeeze connector, which we all don't like, but we're in the door, so we're kind of out of the weather here, or in the dash with these. So you squeeze that together, get a good bite and crimp it and lock it in, and then it also comes, you know, it comes with the squeeze connector and a spade. Once you have it crimped on and you've made your spade, the spade slides right on the hinge right here. And so you, you can turn a, a single wire into a three without cutting it. So I figured in this application, it'd be better to take a chance on not cutting it than and using these squeeze connectors than the other way around. So my first time using them, we'll see how they go. But we're in a dry condition in the cab, and so I think we'll be all right. And it, you know, it might be a good way to be able to tee in without having to cut, because the only other way I know how to do tee in is to cut in and butt connect it. So we're gonna pull and get access to the harness up in here, uh, possibly down here. I'm gonna get a light and look under there. But anywhere in the, uh, the harness coming down the steering column, you ought to be able to pull the uh, the running light and the two colors for the turn signals and again, we're going to run it left turn here Right turn over there 
running late we can come here and just jump clean across the truck to the other side and then uh, the mirrors are going to be a little different story but they always give me trouble all right give me a minute to get figure out which direction i'm going i'll come back to y'all okay guys so what i got is the headlight switch i pulled the bezel out i got the headlight switch out and i'm on running lights brown is usually running lights so we can run it down in here either one of these browns would be a good source for running light power to your mirrors now i looked in the ford book and blue i don't know if you can if tristan can get in here and see we got a green white that i'm holding and there's a white blue so white blue should be right turn signal so i got a piece of mig welding wire just slid it up in there that way we don't damage anything and this little right here let's see all right so this green light ought to turn red so that's our right side flash is blue white and we're going to put this in here i believe if i remember right and that should that is that's our, our flashes so these are the wires we're going to tee into and go to our mirrors Uh, y'all can see we got some serious stuff going on here with this much got our wiring all drooping down and all we are is right in this little corner so what we got here we're gonna have our joystick switch i'm just catching y'all up last night we kind of shot a little bit without getting it all on camera so what i have is let me get this separated here with one hand okay so get this blue out of here all right so we got red brown and black which are that's just my wiring colors that are coming off my spools in the back all right so red and black are tying on the on the mirror harness or tying in the red and black that's turn signal uh let me see red, yeah red is turn yeah black's ground for that and blue is uh running light so we have that set up now this is what i showed y'all yesterday uh these little squeeze terminals they just squeeze around the wire you want and give you a spade plug in so i came in behind the headlight switch and i ran now this one i, I, I teed two of them in because we're going to have one going to the running light on the driver's side and one going to the running light on the passenger side so i've got that just kind of running through here and our red turn signal light we have the green and white light green and white is a left turn signal and white and blue is our other one so we're going to run a another red from here and we're going to rig up to pull um pull our harness through the other side actually you know these are going to be the the um the mirror uh let's see what we got what is the blue okay so blue is going to be parking light all right so yellow white and i'm looking at my little chart right here and i'll show a little bit more of this at the end of the video for y'all excuse it so you can snapshot this and i started to write the ford wiring but i thought it would get confusing so i'm going to show y'all on the other door how to take the the power probe or you can do it with a, a ohm meter or whatever but um power probe seems to work best i'll show y'all how to figure this out when we get on the other door i kind of did a test fit and a trial run so i don't look like a total idiot on film showing y'all how to do this but you know these wires right here are going to carry everything over to that side 
from the switch so we're gonna have this is coming from the mirror in the door and these are just gonna go right up to the little switch so we'll make some little jumpers or just use that and then also we're gonna go all the way to the other side with our other wires so that we can power that and I'll show you how to how we get into that in a little bit but uh, my point being is that I could have taken this wiring harness set up and set it up on the passenger side <clears throat> and pulled it through the dash this way and for some reason I decided not to had a brain fart so it's going to be a you know we'll have to figure out what's going all the way across and tuck it in from here and come out the bottom and then snake it under I'll try and get some of that on video but I mean basically you're just getting the wires from one side to the other under the dash you can run it as complicated as you want you know run over stuff when you can and when you can't just zip tie it from the underside to what you can't so let me get into it and see what see what we get into um I'm gonna get this side prepped like I said I already have the running lights here I'm not doing the, the mirror connections on this side yet because I need to see if I have a pigtail that'll go to the joystick and if I do then I'll just tie that in and then everything else will be on the other door so when I get to the other door I'll show y'all pulling the door panel testing the plug on the mirror so we'll get a little bit more in depth on that side all right we're running out of light but we're gonna see what we can get done so on these door panels, this is super duty. This is a 99. You're gonna grab this, pull it toward the truck. You're gonna lift this up and take a little flathead. If you have this reflector, pop it out. Uh, you stick your fingers up under here on one side and you can pop it out it just kind of snaps once you got one side you can get the other and it takes a little torx probably a t20 but i'm not exactly sure so we pop these off Jiggle this and it'll come off with a little plastic washer. And then I think, put some eyes on right here. So you're gonna have a bolt down here under the reflector and right here under this cover. And those should be seven mil if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna get a seven and see what we got. All right, there we go. I get mistaken with the most of the dash stuff is eight mils uh, and then the speaker uh, stuff we're going to get into in a little bit those are even um, smaller than that now on these door panels i see a lot of them that get crushed uh and that uh, think about what you're saying i'm getting in a rush because it's getting dark a lot of the old school ones want to pull these off these have j hooks behind them so once you have these two bolts out this piece off if you had power windows you unplug your power windows and move all of that once you got that done you just lift the door up and that's it they have j hooks right where they at right here and that's what a lot of people break off uh, thinking that it's old Christmas tree push pins and it's not Christmas tree push pins okay so we're gonna see I think this is a six and a half I had kind of a mix of them on the other side so I ran these mirrors in and we got a um, little video clip I don't know if that's gonna be part of the beginning of this one or not uh, the bolts are right behind here. There's four bolts. Bolts them up. It's quite easy. Um, and then we just dropped the plugs in here for right now because we just needed some viable mirrors. So, I'm going to pull the speaker out. 
and that's going to allow me to get to the plug. and literally let it stick on the thing and here's our plug now I did some research this is a 22 pin plug I think these came I think these mirrors were ordered for a 6 7 and not early 08 but I may be mistaken um, again I'm a little bit more a little bit more up to speed on super duty stuff from the 9903 all right so what i'm gonna do here we're gonna uh again i don't i'm not aware unless somebody's seen one recently and if you have throw it in the comments the 60 mirrors to the six to the seven three mirrors i think they make a 16 pin to a two a 16 pin plug to a two double plug adapter but this i haven't seen an adapter for so um anyhow we we don't have it if we did if, even if they do make it so we're gonna we're gonna fillet this and we're gonna save this plug i'm just gonna back this off enough to where we still have a little bit of slack but we also have um if we needed to at some point we could reuse some of this plug you know kind of some it's good to kind of hang on to some of that stuff from time to time sometimes it'll it'll pay for itself so i'm just going to cut all of this sheeting off and we're going to cut this off too We'll do it just like we did on the other side and we'll save that let me grab some tools uh, put that right there. I'm not affiliated but man however you say that these are some really nice um, make sure I'm getting that in the frame these are some really nice uh, wire cutting crimpers I got they're ratchet action so you can work them with one hand they're color coded so they you know which uh size to use and they came with a a bunch of heat shrink um butt connectors like i like and then uh, uh the automatic stripper pliers this is off amazon but you know like i said i'm not affiliated with them or anything just when i see something i like i like to point it out all right, let me hang this. This is my power probe. And we're going to run this to the battery. Now I'm going to strip these wires real quick so we have something to work with. And again, I haven't, uh, I haven't found any good useful wiring diagram information. I'll show you what I dug up and, but sometimes, depending on what you got to work with, it's just easier to get a power probe out and figure it out. So, Let me twist these up so we got a little something better to work with so after a good bit of explain of exploring and power probing I figured it out so I'm gonna double check but I think the red or the yellow orange and white on my three mirror uh, movement wires and then blue, red, and black. Black is the ground. Blue and red are running and 
um, turn signal. We'll verify that. And then that leaves gray, so gray should be the heat. So on the power probe, you have a uh, um, extra connector here. We're gonna hook that to the ground or the black. So we got that hooked up. I'm gonna fold this mirror, see if we can get it in frame. Yeah, and working kind of fast because we're running out of daylight. We'll finish the mirror stuff tomorrow. Let me go up a little bit. All right, that should put that in perspective. So on the power probe, you have a switch right here, and you can look at the light. When you go forward, it's red, which means this tip is providing hot, or you can go backwards, and it can provide ground. So... We're gonna provide hot for today. And if you'll look right here on the side of the mirror, we go to red and send it hot. And you see the cut, the brightness of that? And that is the top one. And then we're gonna go blue. Gonna apply hot voltage or battery voltage to the blue. And you can see that's coming on too, and that's dim. So blue is gonna, the dimmer one is your running light, the bottom one. And then red is gonna be your turn signal which is going to be the brighter one like you can see here so that's that takes care of that that's black blue and red or the lights of course gray is the heat so that's going to leave us with the yellow and yellow white and orange so if i remember correctly without my cheat sheet on the other side of the truck i'm going to hook the ground from the power probe to white, which I think we determined to be the common. All right, I'm gonna get where you can see the mirror. Let's see if I can get y'all in here. Uh, there's the mirror, so you can watch right here as we do this. So when you see a common, a common usually is something like this. It's in a reversible polarity situation. So uh, if I remember correctly, orange is left and right and yellow is up and down we're going to test my memory here in just a second so if we take hot voltage to the orange and the the, the ground to the white and apply battery juice mirror moves out and if we reverse polarity on that and put same two wires but backwards polarity it's going to move it in Okay, same token, we go back to the white with the ground. Now we're dealing with the yellow. This should be up and down, so ground on the white and hot to the yellow should be up, and it is. And when you flip polarity, which all of this is done inside the little joystick switch, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's down. So that explains this and I'll get in kind of close here where you can see. So you can see that all the wires on this are all in one straight line. Okay, so it's kind of get to get you started. If you don't have these colors, you maybe can just do what I did, which is go down the line. So this top one is going to be left, right. Number two is going to be... Uh, common number three is going to be up down number four is going to be um turn signal black number five is going to be a ground gray number six here is going to be heat and blue number seven is going to be a uh, turn signal so with that in mind and like i said i'll show y'all some i'll show some clips you already saw my one of my cheat sheets but that's basically it i've done a couple of these with this particular plug again i haven't found an adapter that'll fit this to go all the way back from whatever this is which i think is six seven y'all hit me in the comments let me know what you what you know about it and go all the way back to the adapter for the seven three 
Of course, adapters aren't going to do me any good today because this truck is a plain Jane work truck, which never had power windows, never had power mirrors. So we have no wiring. The only wiring coming in through the accordion right here is the door jar uh, wire so and the speaker. That's it. So we're going to have to build our own, and that's why we have all of this wire pulled out. And this is going to be our harness that we're going to snake through the dash. So it's going to be getting a little dark to get in here, but basically what I'm going to do is split this up and i'm just going to tell you and then i'll show you later so we did our right behind here we did our ground and we put three of them together so i'm gonna have an extra ground to go to something in the dash that's later which is a switch bank and then i'm gonna have a ground to come all the way to the black on on the door here and a red from right above the steering wheel we made our little quick crimp three-way t connectors and we're gonna bring all that over here. So that'll bring and our brown. That's gonna be brown. It matches the Ford color. Brown's gonna be our running light going to the blue. Red is gonna be our turn signal coming from the multifunction wiring harness right here. And black's gonna be our ground. And then the rest of them, uh, which will be yellow, orange, and white, are coming from the passenger's door, or the driver's door through the dash over to here to make a harness for our mirror control and then uh i'll have to go run by pull apart or somewhere and grab a mirror control pigtail i have the little joystick but i don't have the pigtail and this truck didn't have it it'd just be easier to do that than try and make the little connectors and whatever so all i'm going to be doing right now is just looming up some wire and snaking it through the dash to the accordion boot, which is right here. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna run a piece of uh, plastic tubing or something that's, you know, rigid enough to be able to work through here backwards. I'm gonna pull the glove box, which if you don't know how to do that real quick, empty it first, but you've got a little tab right here and right here and you can squeeze one at a time in and work this box down so that'll get you access to the accordion boot and the accordion boot will give you access to the door so we'll pull our wires through here and we'll make them up right here alongside the door now the rain passed and we're back on this truck so we made a couple of harnesses and i'm gonna have to get a uh female plug for the joystick some of this may be repetitive it's been a day or so um so we got a loom here with our yellow orange and white <clears throat> we got a loom here with a black brown and red so black brown and red brown is running lights red is turn signal for the right side and black of course is ground and so we're going to put these two harnesses together, tape them up, and we're going to fish them through the dash and stick them out on that side and get them through the door jam. And then we're going to see what we can come up with for um, getting it wired up on the other side. So let's get in it. Right, let's see if we can get situated here. Okay, so I just snake these through the glove box and through the accordion boot. Got them out here and got my cutters. And what else we got? Yep, crimpers and everything. Let's see, I need to put that right there, but I'm not gonna, oh, hell. Give me a minute. All right, well, went on the other side. I guess we have to cut them shorter and Put them on the way, A lot of times when they real, uh, you know, significantly smaller on one side than the other, I'll twist them up and double them over. But the uh, double over the elbow does not seem to want to get into the into the socket today. So that's fine. We got another plan B. And 
the one thing I'll have to decide is whether I want to do the heated stuff or not. Again, South Louisiana, I ain't terribly worried about it. Trying to keep this interesting for y'all, and I know wiring is either tedious or boring. Uh, technically, I don't want to be here either. But we got to get it done, so it ain't going to wire itself. Always give them a little pull. We're gonna come back later with the with the heat gun and heat shrink all of this, but just trying to expedite stuff. Alright, so we're gonna cut all of this across like this. So we just do it like this. I think it's gonna work out good the kind of way we split these two instead of looming everything into one big bundle of wires uh, splitting it into two like this kind of allows you know narrowing down stuff if you have trouble one side is just gonna be blinker and light functions and the other side is gonna be the uh, the mirror functions Get this tied taut, very tight. I should be using the blues, but I'm trying not to. I'll be damn. All right, I'm skipping over. Give me my. Where is, okay, red is running, or blue is running, where's my notepad? Yeah, blue is parking light, and brown is Ford's parking, so get you in here, because I know your little butt will fit. try this black one more time y'all excuse the background noise I know the grind is aggravating but we always got more than one thing going on here all right let's go back to black this is not oh this might be this may be a 14 I don't know
Well, damn it. I knew that shit was gonna happen. All right, I'm tired of fighting you. I'm trying to keep all my wires equal and you're gonna mess with me. So I'm gonna double this one over for sure. Cause I'm gonna go with a blue. Connect over here. Alright, now you shouldn't give me any trouble. It's like I'm trying to use wire I got. I don't want to have I got multiple colors, but they all either 14 or 16. I think 14. But they uh you know copper is expensive. You can't have you know 15 different sizes of blue wire just for every little thing to keep it neat, but all right, that takes care of that. All right, we'll twist these up. And that should finish this door. I'm not finished with the driver's door yet because I still have to run to town and see if I can get a pigtail for the joystick so I don't have to find some little tiny uh, I don't want to have to find some little I know that didn't that went in there too easy let me see if I read or I don't want to have to try and find the little tiny clips for no uh for the spades most of the spade terminals you get in a kit you know they're like a quarter inch wide and the size you usually need inside these plugs is like an eighth or so and i know they make them and i don't have them and i also know i don't know what the hell to call them so once again you run what you brung and that's what we're gonna do that done now we just now you like that crap already got man some days when it comes to my head Elvis has left the building talking and not thinking damn it Y'all saw me doing that. Why didn't y'all tell me something? Not one of y'all said nothing to me. All right. We're going to get these stripped. And again, we're going to twist them. And then just double them over. Because we're going to the blue connector. So we want to have enough thickness of copper to get a good crimp without having to squeeze the bejesus out of the blue. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I've been doing it that way for a long time, so if it ain't broke, don't mess with it. That's another reason why you always give all this mess a good little tug when you get finished. And that way, 
if you got a crappy connection you know and you don't find out later That takes care of this one the gray is our heat and I may change my mind on that but that should button up this side so we should have mirror control and light control coming from the other side of the truck so once we verify that everything's in working order then we'll zip tie this up and stick it in the door where it can't get caught in the window trim but that's it for this, and I'll get back with y'all on wiring up the other door. Let me relocate all my stuff. All right, well, we're wrapping this up. We got our dash panel back in. We had some rain off and on. We had to miss a few days, so I'm not sure where this is going to fall in. But basically, I got a uh, pigtail from Pull Apart to go on the joystick. The joystick is going to be uh, drilled and mounted in this little removable tab right here and all we did was notch the plastic speaker bracket on the left and the right create a little loomed passageway for this to come through and let's see what else uh, I think we showed this earlier just a little add a circuit to give us power and what else we got an extra ground here this is gonna be a hot in the ground for some switches let me go on the other side and catch y'all up on that all right we hung our door back put our bolt there and there we got our pigtail I wish I'd have had a little bit more slack but I think we'll make it I'm gonna have to cut this out and I'll show you all that later and we got the rest of the dash buttoned up uh, still got a couple of zip ties and few things to put down here so when they come back we'll cut the uh, Dremel thing out the biggest pain in the butt is they don't make the damn thing square so if you look right here I mean it's kind of square on this end but on this end it tapers so you gotta cut that where it'll fit in there and lock in with these little tabs and then you'll have it right here so I'm hoping I got enough room to get something under there to unlock that if not we may have to stretch that out a little bit we'll see so you have this little cover right here and you can see where it goes down deep so we're going to basically dremel a hole to put the little window control joystick in here and that'll give us access to pop it out and that's what this is gonna that's what we have this running right here for so we'll pick up when we get to that. All right, guys, I did not get some footage of dremeling, if that's even a word, the uh, bottom of this. But again, this just pops out. I had to extend my harness just a little bit to give me some room. But you can look at the bottom. You know, you've got an angled piece here, and some of this is square. So all I do is find a spot where this will sit down and there won't be anything under it and square off of that and then just put some points and measure it and connect the dots and then she'll snap in. Now one thing to remember too, <clears throat> you go to Dremel a hole on for these switches, some of the ones that come on the trucks are a little skinnier. This is off of Amazon. Uh, I have used the ford ones before and sometimes like i had one off an excursion it'll fit up here this plate will cover but the bottom will be a little loose so just keep in mind to you, know, you may have to drum your hole specific to the switch you're going to use and then when you're done this will just tuck in and pop down all right well that's it for the switches we're going to get into a few more things um couple of more videos and we'll be able to do a reveal on this truck kind of give you all a good walk around and uh though the finished product as it's as it is now finished product for me on something that i have is pretty much never finished but uh 
we'll do a as, finished as of now but anyhow if you got any questions or comments hit us up in the comment section tell us what we're doing right or more importantly tell us what we're doing wrong <laughs> and uh, other than that guys that's it for now so we'll see y'all on the next one